friends and welcome back to my channel. If I'm going to be completely honest, I am not having a good day. It's Friday and I'm just really tired today, which I'm not sure why because I slept really well last night. But I had a bit of a rough morning with my oldest child, <laughs> Blake. Um, she's going to be seven this year and I just find the... Um, she's really big right now on not listening and attitude and um it's just been really challenging not every day like yesterday was a great day last night was a great night but this morning um she was just fighting me on everything and not listening and i was just getting so frustrated and then i had a little cry in the car because um like when I dropped her off, she wasn't, I don't think she was going to give me a hug and a kiss because she just kept walking. And then she stopped and turned around and came back and kissed me. And I said, I love you. And I just held her face and I said, I love you so much. Like there's nothing you could do that would make me not love you. I got mad at her for not listening, but I said, I always love you. I'm always on your side. I always have your back. I always tell my kids that. And then um, she was like, ah, and then she ran away. Then she turned around and went, love you, mom. And I just started to cry because I felt so bad about like starting, she, you know, it's hard enough being a kid and then starting the more, I hate starting the morning off with like tension and uh, me getting frustrated with her. And it just makes me feel awful, even though like I didn't yell and I was justified in being like, this is unacceptable behavior, but it was still just hard. And I just, anyway, so there's a combination of like that and I'm just like dropping everything today and I'm a little bit overwhelmed because I have so much to clean up. I feel like there's not enough time in the day. I'm just having one of those days where I'm just overwhelmed. Like I want to clean. Um, I have to go through all my brand um, emails. I have like 50 of them because I haven't checked them in so long. So I have to go through that. I want to have a workout. I have to take care of Reese. I was already playing some Play-Doh with her. How you doing Reese? She said, good, she's playing Play-Doh now, but I just get overwhelmed sometimes because I feel like yeah, as moms, we have so much on our plate and it's just one of those days where I'm just feeling overwhelmed. Usually I'm like happy-go-lucky and I'm good and I can do it, but today's just not one of those days. And I just wanted to share that and be honest because I'm not always positive. I'm not always, my kids aren't always angels. Let me tell you, they can be Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde sometimes and I can be frustrated and just sometimes lack confidence um like I'm trying to do more reels on Instagram and I was having such a hard time editing a reel and I'm trying to figure it out and then I'm like oh I cut this clip out and I should have done this and I've just been I'm just like having one of those days and it's okay to have one of those days I had my little cry I let it out the sun's starting to come out I said a prayer to God to like please help me just to like relax and be grateful and things will get done. It's okay. Um, so anyways, um, Reese is, you making me pizza? <laughs> She's making me pizza and I am just going to, um, I have to vacuum and wash the floors and clean the bathrooms. Those are the main things I want to get done today. And then I got to make pizza dough cause we're going to do pizza tonight for supper. So I just want, um, I just want to get going on that. So um, Reese's okay on her own for a minute. I played with her for like half hour and I'm going to let her play on her own just so I can get the vacuuming and the floor washed and like the dishes cleaned up and stuff. And then I'll do the bathrooms maybe a little bit later, but anyways, let's get going and hopefully cheer up. But I, like you can tell, like I look tired today. <sighs> I'm just like trying to be positive and happy. I'm just like, blah. Also, do you see my roots? I got my hair done six weeks ago. Like all that is root. That's from my rosemary oil and castor oil. I do it once a week, sometimes twice. It makes your hair grow like a freaking weed. I'm not kidding. Like it's, it's insane. So anyways, um, I got to get going.
until you came I was breathless when we first met Couldn't keep my hands away So I just got Reese to bed and um, honestly you guys I'm gonna pick this up again tomorrow because I'm so tired <laughs> like I don't have the energy to go upstairs and clean the bathroom and put all these clothes away I actually still have our Collins in my suitcase from Florida that is not unpacked it's all clean clothes it's all like our clean summer stuff that we didn't wear but it's still in my um, bedroom <laughs> And I'm just like, I, but I just don't want to do it right now. I don't want to do any more. I just want to relax, go through all these emails, and then um, I'm going to make um, pizza dough, and that's kind of all between that and then picking up the kids and cleaning up after them when they get home. That's kind of all I can deal with today. <laughs> and um, I just wanted to include that again in this video. Obviously, it's going to keep going. I'm going to show you guys um, tomorrow because tomorrow's a new day. But there's just some days where I'm like wiped and um, I need to take care of myself and just be like, you know what? The rest can wait. My body is telling me to rest. Mama needs to rest. So we're going to pick this up tomorrow. And I hope that you guys do that too. And if you ever see videos where people get like a oh, shit ton done or you see Instagram and they're like doing this and this and this and this, just know that you're only getting snippets of their daily life and you don't know what goes on behind closed doors and everybody's human we're all human and it's not realistic to be go and listen some days i am go 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 but it's not realistic to be like that every single day i'm not like that every single day there are days that i get so much done and i feel so productive and i'm happy and i'm like yes i did this and this and this and then there's days like today where i just do not have the energy so i stop and I hope that you guys realize that it's okay to do that. And if you need to stop, just stop. You can pick it up tomorrow um, and start again tomorrow. Tomorrow's a new day. And if you got like something accomplished, like your laundry, like honestly, that's amazing. Like you don't have to do everything because there's a we have a lot on our plates and yeah. So we're going to pick this up tomorrow because mama needs some mental health time and just to like chill, have a workout go through my emails and then I'll pick it up tomorrow so I can be refreshed and like super woman for you guys tomorrow. So um, yeah, I'll see you in like two seconds, but for me, it's tomorrow. Life was dull until you came. I was breathless when we first met. Couldn't keep my hands away. I was speechless when we first met.
so hard, yeah Even though I'm the one that broke us Broke us apart, yeah Now I'm seeing her, watching you Never felt so lonely, babe I wanna be there next to you I keep missing us, miss your touch Missing your body, babe Okay friends, I'm gonna end the vlog here, um, the video here, because my parents are coming shortly for dinner and we're gonna go for like a family walk, which is gonna be so nice. Um, but one thing I wanted to share with you guys um, that um, we were talking about at church today was about how um, we probably haven't been alone with ourselves or with God for a long time because if you think about it, he, our pastor was like, when have you ever, like if you sat by yourself, not been on your phone, like just sat in silence. And I thought about this and I do try and be conscious of it. Like when I'm driving in the car and I'm by myself, I never have the radio on. That's when I talk to God. Um, but I'm trying to be more mindful of instead of always going on Netflix or always watching YouTube videos or always going on Instagram, even though I love those things and they can be kind of neat to see what other people are doing. Create You get creative inspiration and it's um, it can be positive. Um, it can also be negative because then you're never spending time with just you. And a lot of people use social media and stuff like that as an escape. Like I'm, I'm feeling down, I'm gonna go watch this show or I'm feeling down, I'm gonna go uh, scrolling on TikTok or whatever. And um, instead of actually dealing with their feelings and being alone in their feelings and having a conversation with God. Um, so I just challenge all of you guys to like 10 minutes a day, just be by yourself in quiet and I know that's hard for moms I get it maybe if you wake up half hour earlier or you go to bed a little bit later just spend 10 minutes by yourself and um, speaking to God and get to know God and, and build on your relationship because it is not good for our souls to constantly be doing this scrolling and to constantly be on social media I know that's easy for me to say because I'm on social media but I like try like I'm pretty good at not just scrolling um, and we just need to, like he explained it too, you wouldn't have a friend. If you say you're friends with someone, but you never talk to them, you never seek them out, you never speak to them, are you really friends? It's the same thing with Jesus. So you can say, yes, I'm a Christian, or yes, I follow God, but do you talk to him? Do you seek him out? Do you shut everything off and just focus on your relationship with God? So. I just think it's healthy for everybody to put your phones down. Like I'm so scared for my kids. Just the, th the way the world is going, 
and one of my best friends is a high school teacher and she said all the kids sit there in class and just scroll through their phone at 12 years old they're making tiktok videos and it's like I hate it. I wish it would go away. And I told my kids, I'm like, you will not have a cell phone till you're in high school. And when you're in high school, you want a TikTok? Guess what? It's going to be a no. <laughs> and I don't care if you're mad at me and you hate me for it. It's my job to protect you, not to be your best friend. I love you, and but I'm your parent. And until you are 18 years old and a legal adult and you live under my roof, these are going to be the rules. So I think as parents, we need to be that example as well. Like I'm always like hitting Colin and being like, hey you, get off your phone. <laughs> and he's like, oh, sorry. And because for him, it's like watching the news. Like he watches cooking videos and stuff, but sometimes he gets in that pattern of like mindlessly scrolling. And I'm like, hey, get off the phone. And he's like, oh yeah, okay. Um, so just, just be mindful of that and like just spend time with yourself and with God. Because I'm telling you, when you hear God speak to you, it's just like the best thing ever. And he not only loves you, but he likes you and he wants to spend time with you. Um, so yeah, I just challenge you all to do that. So anyways, um, oh, look at Olivia. I have to show you her craft from church today. Look at it. it's Olivia's food truck. There's a little picture of her. It says Jesus loves everybody. It was, it was a really good service. It was so good. And it always fills my cup, but and I cry every time with like the music. <laughs> I'm such a baby. Anyways, I love you guys. I hope you have an awesome week. And um, I hope you find some time just to be with you without your phone, without any distractions, because it's so good for the soul. But I love you and I'll see you in my next video.